The Maxwell stress tensor is a second rank tensor used in classical electromagnetism to represent the interaction between electromagnetic forces and mechanical momentum. In simple situations, such as a point charge moving freely in a homogeneous magnetic field, it is easy to calculate the forces on the charge from the Lorentz force law. When the situation becomes more complicated, this ordinary procedure can become impossibly difficult, with equations spanning multiple lines. It is therefore convenient to collect many of these terms in the Maxwell stress tensor, and to use tensor arithmetic to find the answer to the problem at hand. In the relativistic formulation of electromagnetism, the Maxwell's tensor appears as a part of the electromagnetic stress energy tensor which is the electromagnetic component of the total stress energy tensor. The latter describes the density and flux of energy and momentum in space-time. Motivation. As outlined below, the electromagnetic force is written in terms of E and B. Using vector calculus and Maxwell's equation symmetry in the terms containing E and B are sought for, and introducing the Maxwell stress tensor simplifies the result. Starting with the Lorentz force law the force per unit volume is Next, Rho and J can be replaced by the fields E and B, using Gauss's law and Ampere's circuital law. The time derivative can be rewritten to something that can be interpreted physically, namely the pointing vector. Using the product rule and Faraday's law of induction gives and we can now rewrite F as then collecting terms with E and B gives. A term seems to be missing from the symmetry in E and B, which can be achieved by inserting B because of Gauss's law for magnetism. Eliminating the coils using the vector calculus identity leads to this expression contains every aspect of electromagnetism and momentum and is relatively easy to compute. It can be written more compactly by introducing the Maxwell stress tensor, and notice that all but the last term of F can be written as the divergence of the above, giving, as in the Poynting's theorem, the second term in the left side of above equation can be interpreted as time derivative of M field's momentum density in this way. The above equation will be the law of conservation of momentum in classical electrodynamics where we have finally introduced the pointing vector. In the above relation for conservation of momentum, is the momentum flux density and plays a role similar to in Poynting's theorem. Equation. In physics, the Maxwell stress tensor is the stress tensor of an electromagnetic field. As derived above in SI units, it is given by, where epsilon zero is the electric constant and mu zero is the magnetic constant, E is the electric field, B is the magnetic field and delta IJ is is Kronecker's delta. In Gaussian CGS unit, it is given by, where H is the magnetizing field. An alternative way of expressing this tensor is, where is the dyadic product, and the last tensor is the unit dyad. The element Ij of the Maxwell stress tensor has units of momentum per unit of area times time and gives the flux of momentum parallel to the ith axis crossing a surface normal to the JTH axis per unit of time. These units can also be seen as units of force per unit of area, and the IJ element of the tensor can also be interpreted as the force parallel to the ITH axis suffered by a surface normal to the JTH axis per unit of area. Indeed, the diagonal elements give the tension acting on a differential area element normal to the corresponding axis, unlike forces due to the pressure of an ideal gas. An area element in the electromagnetic field also feels a force in a direction that is not normal to the element. This shear is given by the off-diagonal elements of the stress tensor, magnetism only. If the field is only magnetic, some of the terms drop out, and the equation in SI units becomes for cylindrical objects, such as the rotor of a motor, this is further simplified to, where R is the shear in the radial direction, and T is the shear in the tangential direction. It is the tangential force which spins the motor. 
BR is the flux density in the radial direction, and BT is the flux density in the tangential direction. Eigenvalue. The eigenvalues of the Maxwell stress tensor are given by